So bull reds are in the river in full force and they're not gonna be around a whole lot longer. So either gonna get out and fish for them or keep sitting on the couch. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on things that I use, uh, help you get out there and get started. This is a Pen Warfare 30. It's not a very expensive combo. Uh, I beat on it pretty hard. I really like multi-use um, or multitaskers. Um, I use this for bottom fishing offshore. I've used it for trolling for kingfish. I use it for bull reds inshore. I've got 50 pound braid on there. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this is just Amazon no name Chinese braid. I have tested it, uh, lifting car batteries and everything else. And it is very durable. And so far I have had no complaints, especially for the price. This is one of my more commonly used rigs here. It's very simple. I'm using probably 50, 60 pound liter. I've got a three-way swivel, and I've got about a six-aught circle hook. Uh, I would not fish for bull reds with anything other than a circle hook. Um, as far as knots go, this is a uni. I don't care what kind of knot you use. I just say pick one that is strong, pick one that does not come untied when you tie it, and pick something that you can tie relatively fast. So a lot of good YouTube videos out there showing knots. I'll probably have some coming up for you before long. But if it holds, it doesn't break, and you don't end up with a little piece of line with pigtails on it from where it pulled loose, I'd say you're pretty good. So to show you exactly what this rig is, I've got my hook. I've got about three feet of leader here. It goes to my three-way swivel. I have got a loop that I've got tied on one of the swivels, and I just use a figure eight knot on there. Very simple figure eight. And I loop it through the eye, pull it back through. That way I can quick change my uh, lead weights on there. Sometimes in the river I'm using six ounces, sometimes I'm using 30 ounces. The biggest thing is, doesn't matter how much you weight, how much weight you're using, just need to make sure you're on the bottom. So, going from that on the three-way swivel, I've got probably another three feet of leader on that. I'll usually take a swivel, put it on the end of the leader, and then I tie it to the, the braid. So I've got my rod all rigged up. tied into my swivel, which goes down to my three-way swivel with my eye on there, which continues to go down about another three feet or so to my six to eight, maybe even 10 aught circle hook. I'd say 10 is probably a little on the bigger side. Six to eight is probably what I'd stick with. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put your weights together. So now I've got my three-way swivel one side going to my hook, the other side going to my leader on my fishing rod, and I've got my loop here for my lead weight. So current's running slow, don't need a whole lot of weight. I'm gonna take an eight ounce lead weight, pinch my, down my loop, put it through the eye on the weight, go around the whole weight itself, pull it up and it's looped on. You can use this for offshore fishing too. So let's say you're out there, the weight starts coming back, you see your line drifting back up high, you know this weight's no longer on the bottom. Probably not gonna catch those big bull reds off the bottom. So flip it back off, take your eight, throw it out, swap you out for a 16, 10, 12, 16, whatever you need. Pinch your eye down, throw it over the weight, loop it, come back up. That quick, you've got a heavier weight on there. So it's not uncommon to have to use more weight than that. And sometimes you run into a problem not having enough or big enough weights to be able to hold the bottom. So I can take my 16, take my loop off the bottom of that weight, take my eight on top of it. Then all I have to do is loop that eight. That 16 can just free fall up against that eight. So the 16 is not actually weighted. So I've got 16 and another eight ounces on top of it. So I've got a lot more weight to hold that to the bottom. Three-way swivel sits off the bottom. Hook goes straight out with your bait on the end of it. So I always get a lot of people saying, oh, there's a better way to do that, or you're doing it wrong. And honestly, I think the only wrong way to fish is by to not get out there and try doing it at all. So I'm gonna show you a very simple way, the, last, the way I used to do it. 
I do think the way that I'm doing it now is better. But not everybody's got three-way swivels on hand. You may already be out, decide, up, oh, change of plans. You know, we would like to go out and fish for bull reds today. So I'm going to show you a very, very a even more simple way to get this set up. So I take from my swivel, I give myself whatever distance that I want, maybe another foot or two. I take my braided fish and I pull me out a decent sized loop. I'll pinch it after my loop, fold it so it lays on top of each other at once. One more twist gives you a full turn. And then I take my original loop, run it through those two. That gives me a figure eight knot. Very easy to tie, very fast. And then that is where I will now put my weights instead of using the three-way swivel. So same exact thing, shove your loop through your the eye of your weight, pull it back and you've got it there. Just swap it, change it out just as easy. So it goes from my rod tip, my figure eight knot, lead weight, pull it on down. I've got my swivel with whatever knot works for you all the way out to my circle hook and like i said there's a lot of ways to do it the only wrong way is to not get out there and try biggest thing with bull red fishing is to make sure you use heavy enough gear especially in these 30 40 50 foot depths that you may be fishing for them get in there get them to the surface get your pictures quick vent them properly get them back into the water and make sure they go to the bottom if you don't know how to vent fish i'll have some more videos coming up showing you how to do that um, but these are a big breeder fish and we want to make sure we take care of them get them back in there so they can make more little red fish and we can go back out next year see the same ones especially some of these some of these groups are organized uh, putting together organizations and, and tagging these big bull reds so watch for more youtube videos get out see what you can do Send me some pictures. I'd love to see how you're doing. And um, get out and go fish.